Hello, 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 everyone. We're back. I just had to quickly check to make sure things were right. And they are. Ugh, stretch. <laughs> but yeah, we're back. I, I'm excited to finally get to this dungeon. I've been waiting for a while to do this. I have had this prepped for freaking months. And finally. Um, before everything starts, I do want to thank Fireball. 2106 for following last time you I got the follow notification right as the stream was going down I do apologize for not uh, thanking you sooner um, and then also just at the top of the stream if you like this content you want to see more uh, if you're watching live on Twitch or on the VOD uh, feel free to please follow because that helps if you're watching on YouTube, the, the liking, the commenting, the subscribing, all that really does help. Uh, I need to turn to take music down. My apologies, I'm just realizing how loud this is. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I mean, re re recap. Um, like, yeah, just the, if, you, if you like what you see on Twitch, follow on, on YouTube. Do the, the liking, the subscribing, the comment on the video. It all helps with the algorithm. It helps more people find my content. And, yeah. Um, so at that point... The, uh... Hello! The way we do Hello. Uh, the Hi. way we do crits in the, other, in the other server is the same way we do crits here. It's called the Perkins Method. Max damage plus an additional roll. So yep. that way it feels like an actual crit instead of, oh, I deal less damage than I normally do. Well, uh, so it it's the same like TF2 crit sound. So the um, critical roll does, I think, a good crit where it's like actually how I started out where you roll and then double your damage, double what you rolled. But yeah. uh, holy shit, the Perkins crit just feels more like a critical. It does. Anyways, time for the fighting. Yeah. yeah. Hard work. Time for the shooting. Well, first off, the recap, because uh, last time we... Last time the party had arrived at Canto Fede, did some investigations, and found the tomb. However, after finding the tomb, they were then... Um, Approached ambushed. by, the, or not approached, quite ambushed. yeah, ambushed by uh, one of the people who had ambushed Duco earlier. In fact, now wearing the bracer. Uh, I just got to pick out the perfect music for them. And I've got just the spells to beat their ass with. Yeah, you know what? I I I think this is the perfect time to use one of my favorite Xenoblade songs. Yep. That is loud. Alright. I have initiative written down from last time what we rolled. I honestly don't remember. Uh, you can actually try and find it in my notes. A, there was a roll 20 uh, like, feature. Oh, right. Yeah. Of that. I, I, I'll put that in, but first off, we have Lima. Ow! Hold on. I, just gotta I didn't fix expect it myself to be immediately on deck. I did not expect myself to be immediately on deck. Oh, you're supposed to roll because we don't see your. We, we rolled here. it. We rolled it last time. We had already gotten initiative last time, so Lima's up first. Hmm. Why is he Lima listed as two then? I I'm fixing initiative. <laughs> yeah. Lima's up first. Lima go. Pulling out the spells I want to use or can't you have to leave? Ah, there we are. Uh, can I do a choke touch on the person? Yes, you can. Roll for attack. What was that? I'll take a, I think a 12 does not hit. 12 does not hit. Uh, 
Uh, I guess I'm gonna move now on my turn. Alright. End of Lima's turn. Oh, that we have double Lima's. It is Tommy's turn. Hold on. He did I get rid of the double Lima. Tommy will walk up. Uh, you know what? I think Tommy's gonna go and bonk. Tommy's gonna go bonk? Yeah. So... Uh, let's see... How much damage did I take so far? I'm trying to track how much damage I take so far. Wait, is there two enemies in the room or one? I can't tell. There's one. The other stat block is Frederick. Oh, that is a 27 to hit. That is definitely a hit. For eight damage. Dang, Tommy. Wait, a d20 plus five? Oh, crap, it was just a d4. Whoops. Uh, that's all good. <laughs> Still, eight damage is pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm re-rolling. Nine. Nine. Much more reason. <laughs> so now <laughs> more. Just bonk. I'm having to manage two full character sheets for this combat. <laughs> Give me some you slack. Camera does a d4 damage. Would you like one of us to uh, take control? Is uh, it like a really tidy hammer that just- it, It's broke? a light hammer, those are d4. 13, however, does oh, not hit. <laughs> uh, and then Tommy is going to- Yeah, he'll use, uh, a- He'll use his bonus action to cast, um, the Shield of Faith on Archron, so that it's plus 2 AC. Nice. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, she is grappled. Or they, they, are are, they are grappled, yep. Zuko, your turn. I go in with a menacing aura, and I am going to angle my spell just a bit so that I don't hit the two friends in front of me. All right. I am casting... I meant to hit this bitch with this spell a long time ago, and this time, at this range, I am not going to miss. All right. It cast very fire. Dexterity saving throw. Does a 20 beat your DC? Motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. Hold on. I think they get a penalty from a different thing. Oh. Yeah. Grapples doesn't give grapple doesn't give uh, dis uh, disadvantage. It's only if I pin them. Damn, that is an insane dexterity they have there. I don't know if I can do anything like a hex a bonus action. Can I hex them? You can hex as a bonus action. Oh uh, no, but wait. You already cast a leveled spell. Yeah. Hmm. Is it a leveled spell? Hex is a leveled spell, yes. Oh. And Fairy Fire is also a leveled spell, yes. I don't think I can do much else past that then. Actually, no, I can do one thing that's that that's similar. Hang on, let me check the range. I feel like this is also a bonus action. Uh has to be within that much of a radius. Uh, from me. So that's. Yep, I can't. Too far away. I don't think I can do much else because I was going to try and use the Fae Presence to stop them and just kind of hold them in a charm for a second before I shoot them again. It's going to fade away very quick, but still out of range, so that's all I can do. All right, we now go to someone. And they're still grappled. They're still grappled. Which does make the question, how they even have like a, are able to get that good dexterity at that point? 
That is gonna be a 22 to try and hit Archron. That's gonna hit. Alright, ignoring the sneak attack, that is going to be 8 force damage and 3 psychic. And I also need a wisdom saving throw. Alright, give me a second. Twenty-one. I'm pretty Twenty-one sure it's a succeeds. <laughs> they are going to strike again. Oh, that's a natural twenty. Oh no. Alright, we'll, we'll use, we'll use... Some, uh, well, even if, even if, uh, they used, even if, uh, someone used, uh... Yeah, what that... you call it, it's the 25 would still hit. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll use the first rolls on the crit. So, 7 plus 5 is 12, and then plus 18 is 30 damage. Jesus. And another wisdom saving throw. Needed for a hit or 21 again Damn. succeeds. That's a good thing because if you fail on this save, it's gonna be nasty against a monk. <laughs> I'm not a monk. A against a monk because uh, oh, right. they are they're a sure. monk. If, yeah. I I'll explain why this is nasty after you beat them. All right. Uh, I think as a bonus action, they're going to spend a key point and use patient defense, so all attacks have disadvantage against them. Cool. Good thing I'm not going to mm. attack them. Alright. Archon and Frederick. Uh, can I move uh, Frederick first before uh, Archon moves? Yeah. You're taking all your right. turn simultaneously. Cool. So... Frederick is going to stand right here. Oh wait, uh, just because I'm having to juggle a bunch of sheets, uh, Tommy's going to use his reaction on the hit to use one of his channel divinities. To reflect the damage, basically? Yep. So, so it, in, it in turn takes a solid 30 damage. I, I need to double check it. Uh, double check um, exactly what... Um, both of Redemption... Yeah. Uh, Oath of Redemption Paladin. Uh, boom. I can pull it up. Thank I you. I easily have it pulled up. Uh, do, 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 do. It's Channel Divinity, Rebuke the Violence. Um, they must make a Wisdom Save. Wisdom Save. Natural 20! <laughs> oh, uh, no. And I and Natural 20's on saves are always... Uh, I'm ruled that they're always just a complete pass of damage. Yeah, it's basically a, it's a it's basically a vision. All right, so Frederick turn. Um, Frederick is gonna. You know what? He's gonna be a bit cocky. Um. Wait, well, yeah. sorry, I was checking the spell. He's, yeah, he's gonna be a he's gonna he, he's he he wants to help out a bit. So, boom. Actually, he's gonna flink around. And first attack he's going to do is he is going to try and disarm this person. Uh, they, he cannot because the weapon is an energy blade projected by the gauntlet. You cannot disarm this. I cannot disarm gauntlets? Well, I mean, you can certainly try. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. Would it remove right. his hand? That is going to uh, be, I would say, an athletics check. I will give them a disadvantage a... on uh, an acrobatics check to try and avoid. Uh, disarm is... But I, I, be, because you're trying to remove the gauntlet, I'm saying it's contested their acrobatics against Frederick's athletics. And they have yeah, disadvantage, that's... because they're grappled. Yeah. So that's a 22 <laughs> at disadvantage. Still pretty fucking high. Jesus Christ, they have a high fucking dexterity. Oh, no. Um, athletics 
Not sure I have a spell to deal with this one. Nope. Oof. Oh, I rolled at disadvantage, that's my bad. Well, that's still an 11 versus a 22. Yeah. Um, so since that failed, he is just going to use his extra attack and attack. All right. And this is going to be at advantage because flanking. I'm pretty sure 12 does not hit. What the nope. fuck is up with Frederick rolling low? God damn. Well, they're also rolling super high, unfortunately. But a 12 does miss. All right. Um. So it's 5, 10, 15. He is then just going to use the rest of his movement to reposition. Actually, no. He'll stay right there. Um, and now for Archon. All right. Since I have it, I have advantage on these hits. Uh, mm -hmm. First off, bonus action, rage. <laughs> I rage. I would like to rage. Um. So I am going to then. Uh, um. Yeah, I have. I have these waves. So I'm just gonna roll the attack, but the the, the uh, it, honestly it's still the same except for the the con save and the poison damage because that was from an older thing. Yeah. Um. Yep. Actually, I can just remove that. Give me a second. I can remove that. Yeah. So, Kaplow. Well, I, I, wait, no, it's a uh, advantage slash disadvantage. Um, so I wasn't actually going to make an attack on that. Um, I am going to attempt to do uh, the thing that the, the, the Minotaur did to me. Oh, you're throwing. I, I would say- throwing. I'm breaking. Oh, hell yeah. Also, it's so, just because our grunt grows in rage. size when he rages. <laughs> uh, actually, remember when we, we did flavoring? Well, yeah, yeah, but you're still taking up more space, so Tommy still does get pushed aside. Yeah. So that's um, a con, I believe it's a con save on my end, correct? Con, con save, yes. Eight. <laughs> that, is a, that is a failure. So they are going to take 5d6 plus my strength modifier. Which is plus five. The so roll five d six plus five. They're gonna take twenty five bludgeoning damage. How do you want to do this? Wait, that wait, really? They Did you were. Just beat his ass out? They had nine oh, HP. Yeah. They had Here's nine. The HP. Thing. Here's the thing. Archon is legit pissed that they got away from him. So immediately, a tendril is gonna wrap around their neck. Oh! And choke the bitch out. And then, no, not a. Ch this isn't a choke. This is a break. So you just hear snap. I imagine the combat of chatter right there is already over. Zeke just walks over to like that. Went faster than I'd expect. Holy shit, Archon. Yeah, our crud's terrifying. I I think you got like the only hit you I got off. I just kind of slowly take the glove from her. Just kind of look at our crud. Look at the glove. Well, look at you, her. You 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 try to take it hand. off. You try to take it off, and it you it does not remove. It is stuck to them. So what were you about to say, Sam? Um, did you? Okay, well. For Zuko trying to take the arm off, did you mean for it to be non-lethal? Nope, this was lethal. Okay, then um, you do that, and uh, Zuko, when you do go to take it off, it does, uh, it, it, it is able to come off. But it is quite difficult, and you pull some skin with it. I just kind of brush off the glove, and then just kind of put 
immediately put it in my inventory back. Well, it, it's check just to confirm. It, it's a, it's I, not a glove. It's a bracer. It's a filigree way, bracer. By the way, I'm just gonna check the body just in case, just to make sure Arkron did the job. Yep, dead. I'm doing a quick autopsy. Dead. Uh, uh, quick autopsy. Cause of death: broken neck. Yeah. I um, kind of quickly like take a dagger, cut out. Yep, you definitely got him. I, oh wow. I I think that um, the the only hit uh, until that break that actually got off was the um repost Arkron did. They were at nine HP. <laughs> After that. After the repost? Yep. Arkron hits oh, hard. Yeah. Wait, I forgot. How much damage did I do with that repost? They they had a 42 max HP, so it, or 46, so it would have had to have been 25? Or, no, 30. Yeah, you killed him. 37. 37 in one hit. Arkron does not mess around. Question. Why did the autopsy, do I see like the, one of the vertebrae kind of go like dislodged so hard that it kind of penetrated his esophagus or something? Um, or no, it just, just, I, I, it's more of just like just complete neck snap and their their neck is facing the opposite direction. Yep, Tarkrot, you definitely got it. Oh god, I've never seen a vertebrae that's broken. Oh. Hold on, Arkrot, how much healing do you need? All of it. Oh. All right. Bro, okay, uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm going, going to cast healing lie. word on the Archon to say thank you for the help. You should probably rest. Not gonna lie, Sam. You nearly took me down to half. <laughs> uh, oh, Tommy's God. gonna put all 25 lay on hands into you. Hang on. How much healing word do I have left? Did I recharge it at all? Healing word is based off your spell slots, no? Well, we don't have spell slots. Hey, well, then it would be based on how many spell points you can spend on it. Well, did we have any resting since, my, since I was last active? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I should be I only have used it. I should only use it once then by now. You can use so it I, as many would, times as you want, at however high level high level you want. Got it. So I, I'm just going to use a regular uh, bardic inspiration. And in, uh, sorry, no. Um, healing word just by saying. I think you've uh, done the job per very well. I think you should probably rest right now. And then healing word is uh, your healing icon? surge plus uh, what was it? Um, so it's gonna be your spellcasting modifier. So your charisma mod plus a d4. My charisma mod is plus four plus four. So four pl d4 plus four. Yep. Um, and if you cast it higher, then it increases by a d4 each. Yep. Um, five extra hit points. That's fine. Uh, that actually, eh, that takes me up pretty healthy. I take the bracer back and, uh, I don't suppose I have enough time to bond to the glove. It would take an hour. Basically, okay. You don't have that time. So, uh, can I just add a little bit of, uh, like, uh, flavoring? Sure. Mm -hmm. Before, before the snap happens. I'm just like, your war isn't up yet. Snap. Nice. I get the feeling we should probably clear out the rest of this top dungeon, because, uh, if what that they, points of the body, said has any merit. I feel like this isn't the only artifact we need to probably keep away from them. I think we remember that they already had two. Yeah, you, I'm not you, counting this one. Yeah, you, you knew that they had the, um... The they had, and the bracer. Yeah, they, they had a staff, and I then they, they just got the bracelet from you. Bracer. So I'm going to turn on us to probably and say, if you want to turn around and leave, we can. We have what we want. We can just leave now. But if you want to stop them from getting, keeping the other two, then we should probably do that. I'm yes. fine whichever way the rest of you want to go. Let's let's take preventative action. So you want to finish the job and take all of them away? They should not have that much power. Well, I, I got Arkron, what I wanted, but Arkron says that very ironically. 
Um, what's well, everyone's passive perceptions? My uh, passive perception is honestly horrible, but I'll tell you right now, it's a, it's a twelve. All right. Uh, passive perception. Jack of all trades does not help with passive perception. It, it actually does, because it's part oh. added to your perception. Oh, well, thank God for Jack of all trades. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Uh, give me a second. Um, because I'm pretty sure something kind of... I may have fucked something up. No, I didn't fuck anything up. Okay. Uh, passive is... Oh, no! Yeah, passive is 15. All right, uh, I would say, Arkrod, you do notice kind of, um, above this little, um, divot, you notice some writing in a different script than the common script. We'll, we'll, we'll go to Lima after you guys have noticed this. Oh. What is it written in? Uh, none of you, uh, I would say history check for anyone curious. All right, I can do that. I've got, I'm a skill monkey. Do I get any bonuses from background stuff? It would just be pure history. All right. Six, I got nothing. Uh, it just looks agree. foreign to me. I will say, Richard, you do have a spell that helps you read languages. Oh, I forgot about the new spell. You're right, Tim. Can I take that back and cast it? I mean, you don't even have to take anything back. You can just be like, all right, I, uh, I cast it, and I okay. believe Comprehend Languages. My new spell. Uh, let me check to see if Comprehend Languages is ritual, which means that you don't even have to spend spell points on it. Oh, really? Yeah. So if a spell is a ritual spell, um, if a spell is a, uh, it is not. It is an action. So if you want to cast it, you would have to spend spell points. But after that point, you just, you have it for an hour, and you can understand what's written for an hour. I'll cast it. All right, you cast a spell, and the script reads, uh, shoot, I, I have the basic idea down, but I need to read off my notes, sorry. <laughs> Thank God, I actually have a spell that works. The, uh, uh, the script will read, where did I note this down? Come on, I know I put it. Just, if you seek, so it reads: If you seek the prize, what are you willing to give? I then will re reiterate it and comment for them. Seek the prize. What are you willing to give? Uh, do I get anything off of my history check or no? Uh, but that history check, yeah, you you've grown up around this type of thing. That's ancient Antechnian. Oh. Well, um, and I, I basically confirm. I basically confirm what he says, right? Uh, you do not know oh, ancient cool. Antechnian. It's it's like a modern. You you can tell that there's similarities, but it's like a modern Greek person trying to read ancient Greek or an Italian person trying to read Latin. It's similar, and you maybe get the gist of it, but it's definitely not the same language. Gotcha. Well, uh. I you guys sure you want to go after the other pieces? Because it says that we might have to give something to keep going. I don't so it says, what are you willing to give? You can give them a dead body. Tendril just slowly wraps around the dead body and starts dragging it. All right. I mean, what else can we give it? I are you don't know. The, um, are you taking their dead body with you? Yes. I guess we can give up the dead body. All right. I mean, what, what, it's not, I mean, I don't know if we all want to go out of your way to dig a grave for them. I don't. Here's the thing. Hey, guys, let me watch. Hold on. Remember what our lovely friend Tommy said? If there's a body, that means they can scry on us. 
Oh yeah. We should probably take the body then. I've Here's already uh, sewed it back up by now as I do the autopsy. All right. I'm not an exact mortician, but it should do the trick. Here's the th here's the thing. Uh, Archon has technically already given up something. I've already kind of given up enough just by being what I am. All right, so we are going to continue forward. All right. Uh, you all meet up with Lima, who... Lima, as you've been peering at the side, you will see... You'll have seen this room. With... Uh, oh, I'm just having the math. Yeah. Hang on, let me um, just brag my character around. It's eight different uh, altars and idols. One of which is clockwork based, another pure light, a third a giant flower, the fourth a sword pierced into the ground, the fifth is a ring of energy, sixth is a pit, seventh is a statue of some sort of creature, and then the eighth is also a statue. There is also. There is more writing above the wall on the other, above the the door frame on the other side. Although the door is locked shut. How long does my spell last for? An hour. I'm gonna read oh. the text on the wall. Is this door? Sh uh, that door is open. Door is okay. That door is open. Uh, do you all enter the room? Yes, I'm gonna ma maximize the use of my spell and uh, keep reading the stuff on the walls. All right. Uh, as you Don't all enter. As you all enter the room, all right, I gotta drag the body with you guys. Oh, we took the body just because we weren't sure. Yeah. So as as you Zuko, you read the what the top of the thing says, and it reads: Each realm has its own deal to make. What do you trade for power? And also, at the second all of you enter the room, the door behind you slams shut. I suppose that gets rid of our only exit. No turning back now, guys. Are you sure you want to make sure they we don't they don't have to rest? Oh, no time for regrets. I'm so, okay, let me read this. I uh, I'll see the pit and immediately just drop the body in the pit. Wait, don't do that. All right, you drop the body uh, in the right. pits, and you notice one of eight lights, around, one of eight recesses around the door lights up. Okay, um, that works. Uh, let me reread this again. So the other was, what are you... What are you willing to trade for power? So each that that's what Walter has its own each, price. Each realm has its own deal to make. What do you trade for power? Each realm has its own deal to make. What do you trade for power? Um well I guess the body was that one. Uh, I've already I did go over to how, what are the difference between the two beast altars? But what is everyone's religion score? Um, or re religion modifier. Um, Mine is a zero. Five? five? Alright, Lima? Three. Alright, uh, Zuko, you said you had a five? A plus five? Mm -hmm. You'd recognize that each of these is, um, a, is connecting to one of the, uh, one of the eight, um, outer realms. So you have the realm of clockwork, of light, of life, justice, chaos, and then the bottom three are um, three lower realms. For so a player hit, each of these is associated with an alignment. 
so that's that's for another player hint. These are also associated with the D and D alignment chart, with true neutral not being represented because that is the mortal realm. Which one do I look at for neutral evil? Neutral evil is this one, the bottom middle. Oh, I'm guessing mm. this one's chaotic evil. Yep. <laughs> There was another soli- there was another solution I had planned, but dropping a whole ass dead body worked well enough. <laughs> mm. What does the altar look like for neutral evil? For neutral evil, you see a fiend with a sword in one hand and an outstretched palm for the other hand. I mean, Archon technically gave up his morals. I'll let you guys discuss it. I need to do something real quick. All good. I might need to do a blood offering on the neutral evil one. Don't ask how Zuko Carly knows, but he probably knows. Hint, hint. It has to do with where you came from. So what was lawful evil, I wonder? Lawful, lawful evil, evil is with the sword. Um. So from top from left left to right, top to bottom, it's lawful good, lawful neutral, lawful evil. Uh lawful new uh, lawful uh, lawful neutral, true neutral, neutral evil. Mm-hmm. Chaotic or, good, chaotic uh, neutral, chaotic good, evil. Uh, n- neutral good true neutral uh, ev- uh, evil neutral then it's chaotic nu- uh, chaotic good chaotic neutral chaotic evil I'm guessing the pit was where you threw the body chaotic evil is where I threw the body well uh wasn't expecting that but could you I guess it was a good idea to take the body with us at least they won't be able to scry on us I mean I just said take the body because I thought well what if they need a, a whole body? What are you willing to trade? And I'm like, what do we have to trade? Looks at the body. Can we offer them a body? <laughs> honestly, that was the that was honestly the first thing that came to mind as well. <laughs> just like, um, I just had a Zuko probably go with like this after reading it, going, hmm. So I know you all are probably not as morally ambiguous as I am, but just hear me out. What if we gave them a body? As you as you say that, Archon's already dropping the body in the pit. But Archon, wait, we didn't even read the chart. Yeah, as it just plops in and the light goes up. That works. I'm, you know what? Good job, Archon. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but it, it, it went better than expected. <sighs> they said, what are you willing to give up? I've already given up something. Ah, I've heard that. I've definitely felt that. I had to give up a bit of mine as for having to take up this line of work. I can't tell you how many deaths I've seen when trying to save lives or take them. As I kind of just stop between the lawful evil and neutral evil, I'm just like, ugh, I, no matter which way you look at this altar, it never ends pretty. I think I can get this one as sort of uh, Archon and Frederick are looking at the sword. Well, you two do what you have to. I just hope no one looks at what I'm about to do. It's not a pretty sight. He just looks at the fiend offering a hand and the and the blade. Yeah. It's never pretty. I was expecting the fiend to be holding like a bowl or something, though. Not gonna lie. Mm. That would have made more sense. 
Like, if there's a bowl he's holding and a knife, then yeah, that makes more sense. Um, what's Lima gonna do? That's the thing. Lima is staring at the chaos. Mm. Question. Currently, is Lima staring at the chaotic good or are they staring at the chaotic neutral? It sounds like chaotic neutral. Because the pit was chaotic evil. Right. The pit was chaotic evil, yes. So, with, so let's just say if that's chaotic good, and the pit was chaotic evil, then it must be that thing Lima's looking at. Meanwhile, I'm probably looking at these two. Those two are. Chaotic good, chaotic neutral. And oh, I thought it was. I thought these were evil. All right, I'm back. No, so remember, top to bottom is lawful, neutral, chaotic. Left to mm -hmm. right is good, neutral, evil. Actually, that that's the opposite. Left to right is. So this is lawful good, the light one. This is chaotic good, sword. Gotch. Okay, I forgot. Top that row one was the pit, correct? The pit was evil, yeah. It pit was chaotic, was evil. chaotic evil, yes. Did anyone so, touch oh, this one? What's, Did anyone touch the no, lawful evil? I, I wanted to ask about that one next. I was looking at neutral, and now I want to ask about lawful evil. Yes. What am I looking at? You are looking at what appears to be a devil's face. Just the face, while well, one was a whole devil with a blade and an outstretched hand? Yes. The other is just a face? Yes. Well, a whole head, what? but you're looking at the face. <laughs> um, anything else I should know? Like, uh, is its mouth open? Is there something in its mouth? What? Uh, the mouth is closed, and it's giving a definitely, like, stern look. I will look at the neutral evil devil. Oh, the hand's just outstretched, it's not holding anything, not a bowl. Uh, outstretched as in, um, give me something. Um, I look around, nope, there's no bowl or anything on the ground in front of him. Uh, Lima, you're looking at the chaotic neutral one. It is a writhing mass of elemental energy. Mm -hmm. um, what does Emil think as he was looking at it? I want to touch it. What's in my inventory again? Let me check. Uh, I believe uh, Tommy is obviously going to look at the gear. Yeah. And then yeah. the one, the one thing besides. Here's the thing. Funny enough, Archon's mind. He was just disposing of the body. Mm. Okay, so here I'm gonna reach into my inventory. All right. I pull out the orb I've always used for like crying and the such. I then look at the devil and just kind of go, "I'm not sure what you'd want for this. I would give up many of my foresight, and that would take away my ability to be, you know, scrying." I put the orb in his hand. You do that. And... I also put happens. out a wrist in case it had. I then just kind of immediately take the orb back and then just kind of go, oh, I think I know what it might want. Um, question. Can I take the knife out of its hand so I can then put something in its hand? The... no. The, the sword is part of the statue. Hmm. Hmm. I take out one of my daggers and I just kind of look at it and just kind of tell, does it react to me putting in, like a dagger right above my hand? Nope. 
I put the knife dagger away. Hmm, what would it want? Uh, I take out one of my charlatan die. I put it in its hand. Nothing happens. Hmm, I take the die back. Anything about the sword? The sword is stuck into the ground, and it's it's a pretty dang big sword. Ah, oh, I know what I can do for this. As he is going to channel one of his war caller rages, um, and then try to pull it out of the fucking ground. Make me an athletics check. All right. Uh. Do you remember that if you use the war caller trances, you get levels of exhaustion? I know. Or actually. But it it, uh, it, it, it is the it is the um, exhaustion from the one D and D stuff, so it would be uh, cumulative minus one to things until you get to ten, and then you die. Gotcha. So I already have. So yeah, that's a twenty six. Twenty six. You pull on it, and you're not able to get it out. But eventually, you hear a what sounds like a bell ringing. And the door lights up. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep looking at the devil's outstretched hand, and I'm just like, hmm. Lima, what do you do with the sphere of chaotic energy? I want to take out the two coins I had. You do notice. One. You do notice that the one you've had for long that the one you've had for not as long, the one that had magical properties, is tarnished at this point. I take them both in my hand, like put them in one hand, from one chapter to the next. And I put my hand, my Lima puts their hand right through the middle while holding both coins of the ring. The one arm that's pulled with magical scars. The... you start to put your hand in, and the coins don't seem to be affected at all. But mm. your skin definitely is. You take... five points of a... On the Chaos Bolt table, what is a three? Either, either way, you take five points of that type of damage, and the door lights up again. That'll be fire. You take five points of fire damage. Actually, I have a horrible idea. What? I turn to Tommy. Question, you can call back your familiar anytime, yes? It takes a while to cast, but yeah. Hand me the lizard. Sorry. No! No! If anything, Tony is still on me. Yeah. Just, it, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna do anything. Look, uh, the, the, there was already a solution about sending a body in. Why would there be a second one? Um... I don't think this needs something like that. Zuko. I'm just kind of um, looking at the chaotic evil devil out hand outstretched looking around. Hmm. That's the chaotic good. No, this is no, the... Right. This is lawful this evil. Lawful evil. The sword was chaotic good. Got it. Um, I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take a closer look at this one. It's a a dude in armor with a sword, and his hand is outstretched as in give me. He definitely has a very give me expression. Uh 
Actually, oh, I can just sort of light fun. up and I kind of reach for my I, I, pocket to grab a bag of coins. You put place the coins in his hand. Yeah, I'll take about five gold to be enough. All right, you drop the five gold in his hand, and the coins begin to light up and heat up, and then in a flash, they're gone. Remove the five coins, the door lights up. Ah, there we go. Was that from, uh, that was the... Neutral evil? Yep. All right. Cool. So I'll just take five coins out of my inventory. I just kind of had to think very carefully. I'm like, oh. If it, I didn't realize it was a knight-ish kind of armor thing, and then I'm like, oh, not knight-ish, not knight-ish, more like a mercenary. Oh, I thought it was a devil that was had a, like a mur murderous knife. I was like, oh, it was just that. And then okay, that was easier than I thought. I was missing a detail. Um, halfway through. As for new Oh wait, yeah, new lawful evil, right? I'm gonna look in front of the devil. Anything I should note about the devil face? It's a devil face. Got it. I guess Tommy would sort of be examining both the cog and the lights. Yeah, I, I just don't want to jump to conclusions with Tommy since Andrew isn't here. So if you guys have anything you want Tommy to do or try, suggest it. Yeah, that's why that, that's what I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting that he's gonna like examine closer at the the, the other two. I'll roll investigation to see if I can give you guys a hint. Okay. Uh, 15. Tommy looks at the light, and then he bows down and recites his oath, and the door lights up. Nice. Mm. So we just have lawful evil left? You have lawful neutral, neutral good, and neutral evil, and lawful evil. What can you tell me about the devil face I'm looking at? It's it, I as I've said before, it's a devil face. Do you I'm want to roll investigation for any details? I'm right. missing. So uh what Wait. does this flower thing there look like? It's a big flower. Um fifteen give me anything? Fifteen. You know, the, the horns are interesting. Do you touch it at all during your investigation check, might I ask? Um, cautiously with the Yukwa staff I have. You do not touch it skin to skin? No, I'm ca being cautious first. You touch it with the staff, and there seems to be a little bit of um, either rust or decay, depending on which side you touch your to touch your weapon to it. Uh, Lima, you pour a potion into the flower, and the door lights up. Nice. Zuko's so gonna take one breath and uh, take, roll back his sleeves. It's going to hurt as I grab both horns. You touch both horns and you feel a surge of pain surge through your body. And you take three points of necrotic damage, and the door lights up. Ow, oh, that sucks. I'm gonna try and investigate the cog wheel. It's a cog wheel. It's definitely a cog wheel. You do know this with the 12 that the center is an offering bowl. Hey, Tommy, you have any, any other ideas how this works? Well, if it's based on the living spark, um, maybe about, like, I mean, the living spark is a machine, so you drop 30 silver. You drop 30 silver, and the bull slides down into the cog, and the door lights up, and then opens. Hmm. 
Nice. We did it. How did you guys feel about that puzzle? <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. But damn, that five gold. Oh well. It was. I'll probably get get just as much back you later. Have your platinum. Yeah. And you're complaining I, about five gold. My God. No, 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 it's not a problem. I can earn it back later. We're just doing bard stuff. Never mind. I know. I, I'm just. I, I'm just giving you shit. I know. That's good. It's funny. Well, at least we don't have to deal with that body anymore. Indeed. Seems unfortunate, I though. Say... How so, Tommy? I mean, we just kind of threw him away. Seems kind of unfair. Did, I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah. but... He did was he... about to bring the destruction of this world. Yeah, but did he deserve that? I'm pretty I sure that's he... the least of what he I'm just going to tell you right now about this cult where that we're kind of fighting here. He knew what he was getting into when he joined. Fine. So, in a way, we're kind of giving him back to his own people, so if you think of it that way, we're not really doing him any disrespect. I don't know, I was just trying to discard of the body so I don't get another charge. I mean, that works too, but <laughs> if you think about it in the most esoteric sense, that's really the real issue. Um, there are three doors, I take it. There's not three doors, there's just three paths. Um, I will reveal a path that you choose to go down. I can't it. see further up. Which way are you guys going? I'm just going to stand right here because I'm not sure where to go. All right, I'm going to, since Arkron and Lima are going on different paths. I feel bad about splitting the party. We cover more You're just looking way. one way and then the other and looks to Tommy where you want to go. I'll just follow you guys. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna actually do the smart thing and follow Arkron. You're gonna leave Lima by themselves. Lima will go with... Uh, Tommy will go with Lima. Actually... Oh. Yeah, I will go... Yeah, I'm going with Arkron. You you forget, I still have control of Tommy. That's fair. <laughs> Lima, you go down this path and you find a chest. Don't be a mimic, don't be a mimic. Go. Don't be a mimic, don't be a don't mimic. Be Do you a open mimic. the chest? <laughs> It's a mimic. <laughs> I actually probably won't open it. I'm probably actually gonna... Hold on, let me see what I can do. Poke it with a stick. I'm gonna throw a non lich torch at it. You do that, and it bonks off. Does the bonk I feel sound... Like I'm gonna fall for that, though. Does the bonk sound... It sounds wooden. Cool. That's what a mimic would want you to think. Actually, a, uh, a mimic would sound a little bit more dense. Because of all the viscera. I am slowly picking up the torch, and I'm going to try to slowly open up the chest. You do that. You grab the chest. You slowly lift up the lid. And inside, you find... One moment, I need to go to the book. <laughs> Damn. I really do believe it's uh, it's. It's like my neurodivergency acting up, where I can tolerate a certain pain, but I can't stand another type of pain. Yeah. Because, like, the way I see it, 
sharp, stabbing pain. I can deal with because I can, my brain can justify why it's happening. The dull, aching pain. My brain cannot justify why it's that way. So, why? I feel that. It's kind of how I am with, like, whenever I have some issue with my gut. Keep in mind, I've had, like, surgery and that shit done. Probably the worst pain I felt with that was feeling my organs rearrange themselves. Ugh. It was like feeling a snake writhing in there. Because, uh. believe it or not, like, it has its own, like, sponge and memory foam kind of tech thing where it will remember that it should be re- like, if something is missing, it will try to re-sort itself out in the best way possible. So, like, if an organ is missing, like, or a piece of your is missing, it will actually compensate for it once it realizes it can fix that. Like, it'll, like, rearrange the entire segment, like, and then just move the entire system in a certain way that it feels comfortable. Which right. is insane. You open... Like Lima, you open the chest to find a small golden idol. May I try to identify it before I fully pick it up? You look at it. It's just a golden statue. Lima slowly picks it up. Alright. You can add a 750 GP art object to your inventory. Damn. Oh, is this an Andrew? It's an you Andrew! Yay! Tommy's finally here, actually here. Uh, you, uh, you spent all, you, you spent two S, two, or three spell points casting Shield of Faith on Arkron, and then all of your lay on hands, because he was down a lot. <laughs> By the way, uh, after <laughs> everyone, uh, sorry, but okay. after he picks up the idol, they're actually going to hand it over to Tommy, because they are more of the holy person. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Brain needs to fully comprehend. I think Tommy got a concussion during that. <laughs> So you guys, so re full recap, you guys beat the, uh, beat someone. Um, oh shit, someone. Yeah. Uh, Arkron decided to bring the body with you guys. You entered into a room with a, with like a puzzle of what are you willing to give for power from each of the other realms. Arkron tossed someone's body down the, down a pit, which activated the puzzle, <laughs> part of the puzzle. Uh, and then you guys solved the puzzle, you proceeded, Lima went off to search this route, while Arkron and Zuko went on the other route with Frederick. You found a chest, Lima gave you an idol that was in the chest. I feel painful now, I would have loved watching that puzzle. You can always watch it yeah. back! Hey, uh, gold to get, make the neutral evil statue. Wait, what about an evil statue? No, let, let, let's let him watch it back. Let's let him, let's let him watch it back. Yeah. Wait, 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 uh, wait, uh, God, uh, uh, well, well, is, the watch back, I'd have to go on my phone, because I can't... Well, well, we're, we're, we're saying, we're saying later. You don't have to watch it back right now. You can do it later. Okay, so yeah. what? Okay, I'm being handed an idol. Wait, hold on. Context to what this idol looks like. It looks it's like it, it's a golden idol. You can tell that it's of some deity. Shall I roll then my knowledge? It is. It, it's a treasure. You don't have to roll for anything. It's just a 700 GP, 750 GP treasure. Oh wait, so it's just like a forgotten idol? Yeah, it's it's just a, it's just a little gold idol. It doesn't have anything magical about it. Well. I will take this only. I will take this under consideration and be suspicious another day. I should fall behind uh, Frederick and Arkron. Yeah, uh, I'll say. Yeah, uh, do you guys continue forward? Yes. All right. All right. Why my head killing me? Hey, what happened again? This is just a body. 
Wait, what happened to that guy who attacked Bing Bong? Wait, where's Bing? Oh wait, I need to summon Oh, he's Bing dead. Bong. I crawling through his body in the dead. Wow. And I, 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 I basically just it by... Or I was muted. I was trying to say, I'm not at my computer. Can you please move me? Please move me. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll move him. Uh, only I have control of Arkron. Got it. So, Frederick, Arkron, and Zuko, down. you proceed into a room. Oh? Anything on the map? That's a big room. It is a big room. I can't see anything on the map that's black for me. Yeah, because I'm using Fog of War. Uh, I'm gonna use prestidigitation to. If we're it, all the way in the room. bottom right corner, by the way. Um, you have to scroll away to the bottom right corner. Okay, yeah, no, that makes more sense. Thank you. I'm gonna cast prestidigitation to light up my uh, stick. All right. As you proceed into the room, it's quite an empty room. You think? Until. Uh, hold on. Need to pause this music and get other music ready. As four figures come out from each of the four, well, one from each passage. Ghost. Ghostly wow. figures. And I am going to need initiative. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, okay, I just moved my person because uh, I was trying to catch up. It's not like hard enough dealing with the living. I would not say that. Uh, no, Tommy and Lima would not catch up because Arkron yeah. and Zuko went off on their own. You split the party, so you would not know this is happening. Yo, oh, you what the fuck? Anyone can make. Ta Tommy and Lima Dang. still roll initiative, but you would not. You will not be able to act on the first round of combat. And I think I got it. Wait, I got advantage with the shield, right? I think so. Oh wait. Uh funny enough, uh Frederick can have his own initiative. Oh, yeah. I mean if you want to roll initiative, go ahead. Yeah. I'm at ten uh, right now. So he has advantage. And he rolls better than our cross. <laughs> I guess Frederick's going first. Okay, I got a twelve. There we go. Uh, uh it's already there. So I guess Frederick goes first. Thank you. Unless, unless uh, you, go. you had already rolled a 13, and then you rolled for the second roll. Oh, sorry. It didn't pop up on my side. Uh, okay, now I see what happened. Yeah. Okay, my bad. And I just got to roll for the ghosts. Uh, yeah. All right. Do they all take the same initiative? Yes. That's what they I got mean. a 16. Oh. So I guess Archon goes before the... So I guess Frederick goes before no. the ghost? Yes. Uh, yeah. or, or no, because they, they would have a 16.3 while well, Frederick has a 16.1. Yeah, 16. they have a higher 1. dexterity. Aw, oh, hell. Alright. Apologies, chat, for the no music while this is getting set up. Uh, ghost. Alright. The ghosts begin the turn. Begin initiative. Ah, uh, this ghost you know is this going to five, is? ten. I'm pretty sure ghosts don't sleep. All right, and I'm going to need Frederick, Zuko, and Arkron to roll a Wisdom saving throw. Oh wow, I'm fucked. All three of us? Yep. As it, as this one lets out. What sounds like a howl, but then your minds are bombarded with imagery of horrible things. Wisdom saving throw. Alright. Now we pray. Arkron 18. Frederick 5. Ooh. 7. 7. Uh, Arkron, you're able to shake these off, but Zuko... And Frederick, your mind is bombarded with these, and you are horrified. You each take six damage. Arkron, it is halved to three. And Frederick and... Oh, sorry. <laughs> right. 
Uh, Frederick and Zuko, you are stunned for a turn. Damn, I can't act now. Yep. Uh, uh, the stun condition, the most horrifying of all conditions. This ghost will reach up to Arkron and then try to attack, try to reach out. He's going to attack you. Does the uh, shield of faith still be active or no? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the second time I've rolled a crit against you. <laughs> this session. I think Jeez. shield of faith isn't helping you. No. I'm currently feeling everything Archon is feeling right now. Pain, salt, and maybe a wee bit of charcoal. Oh. Oh, I can actually use this spell effectively now. It's gonna be but I can you act on my turn because I'm stunned. Uh, what's 19 plus 24? Jesus um, Christ! That's... 19 plus 24, that's, uh, 33. 43. Oh. I like to believe the po we were separated for like a brief second and every single defensive measure that could have helped Archon in this situation just immediately is gone. Alright, and then the other two are going to reach up a little bit and uh, I'm going to need uh, both of you, or all three of you to make another set of saving throws. God damn, I'm it's fucked. Okay. Wait, is this against magic? This uh, is not against magic. Again, your minds are flooded with images of horrifying things. That's a failure. All right. Oh, it's a breath echo. Much worse. Ten. It's also a failure. All three a failure again. The first one is a ten psychic dip or. 13 psychic damage to all three of you, and you must use your reaction to melee attack against a, another creature that, uh, against one creature of of its choice that you can see. So Frederick and Zuko attack each other. Fuck. Um, I guess I take the spear out and dab, I guess? Yeah. Or what else do I even have to hit with, is the question. I knew, just punch. Or I'll just Pretty force sure staff. Fuck it. Two, so. Force staff. Fuck it. Um. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Do you see every single roll that Frederick has made so far? Yeah. Other than his initiative, has been lower, either a ten or lower. It's what the Jesus. fuck? That's what I'm um, going to do. Something. I'm so, just bonk Frederick with oh, I just bonked Frederick with a stick. All right, but uh, that I would say you're punching him. So what's your strength modifier? Oh well, that's that's a minus three to the thing. So my strength is plus one. So that's a twenty. No, what well, as in as in your for damage? What's your strength modifier? Zero. So you punch him, and it's one point of damage. Ah, you. All right, now another That's wisdom bad. save from the fourth ghost. No. Failure. I am Failure. 16. I'm so sorry, Presley. <laughs> Do I succeed? Uh, 16 does succeed. It's seven, oh, which for, for Zuko is halved, but then Frederick has to make an attack against you again. Oh god, how much damage do I take from Frederick the first time? Uh, none. He missed. This time it's though. <laughs> oh god. Ghosts, man. Hold on, give me a second. I have to check something. How much damage do I take? It's 1d6 yeah. plus 4. Oh god. Oh, Lord man. have mercy on my soul. Lord have mercy on Six. my soul. As he punches you in the gut. Ow. So, minus six, that would be. I take another right now. Which oh. I am severely fucking hurt right now. Um, I can't. I won't be able to reach Presley without. Uh, I have to be melee range for lay on hands. You can't take your turn. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm stunned. Project Sun, I, I'll say with how this is going, Tommy and Lima, you are alerted to what's going on. So we you just are off in the distance, like a breathing for a moment, going, no, it's not often that we separate from the party. But, uh, I, 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 you I, 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 yeah. So you, you do, you, I would say because of how bad this is going, I'll give you guys initiative on this turn. Yep. <laughs> Although that is kind of the sad point of an ambush round. Oh, it is sad God true. damn it. So it's Tommy's turn. It's even an ambush round. This is normal initiative. Damn. There we go. Fuck. Well, I don't know why, but this fucking click roller isn't rolling for me properly, especially for Frederick. I'm just gonna blame Lima for separating the party. This is why you Tommy stay go. close. To the uh, okay, I'm trying to think. Okay, I got I got my full movement back, so that's actually good. Yeah. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, oh yeah. Are you sprinting? Wait, of course I have the best of ways to do this. Uh, hey, uh, do you think you can go on ahead of me? Hey, I think there's something really wrong happening. I talked to Tony. Yeah? I said Tony! How far can Tony go? Uh, let's see. Tony is a tiny boy, so Tony would be... Well, first, I need a token for Tony. Can we get a Tony token? Yeah. I'll just use the Draw squirrel a for now. Tiny lizard. Oh, wait, Hold on. I can't bring it up. I shall draw a tiny lizard. Oh, hold on, I'm grabbing something. Okay. It's the second time I rolled a six for in my initiative. I'm like, what the fuck? Yep. Uh, a little tail, as legs, tiny legs. We'll use the snake Big. for Tony. There we go, I made a lizard. <laughs> Oh, oh, you, oh, use the snake. <laughs> Look at the tiny lizard I made. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We'll go with the logic that Tony chose to be a snake. No, we're, we're just oh, using yeah. a snake. Tony just use the. <laughs> it's still a lizard. Just use the snake. Uh, let's see. I believe Tony. Oh yeah, I have his stats actually written down. So Tony would be. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Wait. Now I'm right. Turn Tony into an owl. Laugh. That's why I was trying to remember. But yeah, we'll use the snake owl. anyway. Just pretend he's a flying snake. Well, we'll say that Tony is, well, uh, especially because of how the new Find Familiar works, we'll just say he's always a lizard, but like you can add wings to him and stuff. Yeah, he's a tiny dragon. <laughs> he thinks he's a tiny dragon, okay. So in that case, five, 10, 15, 20. Oh, shit. Oh shit! <laughs> Lot of ghosts. That's not good. <laughs> and Archon looks Damn. severely like he looks like he's on the back foot, which you have never seen before. Okay, Tony is gonna like bum rush over to him and use the dash act. Oh wait, frick, yeah, I can only do five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty at most. Hold on, let you me double, let me check. With foot. Yeah, because, like, he doesn't have that fast of movement speed. You can reach Archron with the 30 feet. Yeah, but I think he has to use, they made it so... I, he oh, wait, oh, he uses so he his reaction to deliver the spell. the spell, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's totally worth it. Okay, yeah, Tony's, like, swooping up to just land on your back and go, Hang on, hang on! Boss has got you. He also can use a bonus action to heal. Or uh, wait, oh, yeah. no, 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 that no, would no, that no, would be Bing Bong. That was Bing Bong. That's Bing yeah. Bong. I will reconjure Bing Bong soon enough. There will be soon enough time to summon the Bing Bongs. So Tony lands on your shoulder, and then Tommy, you can channel in a healing spell through Tony. Yeah. Uh, seeing how badly uh, his ass has been beaten, uh, I think he, uh, full, I'm thinking a. Let's see. I believe I qualify as third cat level. Okay, for spells. I think he's third level heal. Uh, lay on sorry. Third level cure wounds is uh, kind of Wait. justified in the situation. Wait, because you're you're five level paladin and. You're, you're fifth level paladin, third level sorcerer, correct? 
Yes, I can do up to third level spell slots. Uh, let me double check. Oh no, it's because uh, I use the character creator so that way it automatically tracks the spell level. Okay, yeah, so you would you would count as a fifth level spellcaster so you can cast um, third level spells. Yeah. Uh, so third level lay on hand. Or not lay on hand, it's cure wounds. In other words, Tony lays on your back and then licks your neck. Now, okay, cure wounds is. Wow, I have not used that spell, I think, at all in this game for like so It long. would be 1d8 per spell level plus your spellcasting yeah, modifier. So, 3d8 plus my charisma. In this case, it is a plus 4. Okay, 3d8 plus 4. And. Nice. Dang. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, thirty-seven or twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven. Nice. As Tony licks you on the back of your neck. All right. Yeah, yeah. And the oh. rush of vitality and also awkwardness. As your neck feels cold and wet. And yeah. is that your full turn, Tommy? Um. Let's see. Well, since I have to use, I do still have to use my action to cast a spell, and his reaction to cast a spell. Um, do I have any bonus action things I can do? Um, I don't think I do. Not that's oh. non-spell based, so... Yeah, Zuko is... No. Zuko stunned? Arkron, your turn. I hate the stun condition so bad, I can't do anything. Well, I am going to... I am obviously going to uh, bonus action Eldritch Claws. All right. Um, and I am going to swing at this thing. Roll attack. Ten does not hit. Ten does not hit. And I'm uh, Tommy, sure what can luck do? Huh? Uh, but let's see. Officially, okay, luck. Okay, oh, I had to fix still the spacing on that. But uh, let me tell you what Lucky does. Um, let's see. Luck, I can use a number of times equal to my proficiency bonus. I can spend a point to gain one of the benefits below. When I gain, let's see. Game and long rest. Advantage immediately after I roll a d20 test. I may spend a lock point to give myself advantage on that, or I can give my opponents disadvantage. Okay, so it, you cannot give it to an ally? I can give it to an. I think. Let's see. Advantage immediately after you roll a d20 test. You can expend one lock point. Ah, okay, yeah. We actually. We've been using that wrong this entire time. Well, that there may oh. be a change with 1D and D. So. Unfortunately, 10 does miss. Do I still have my inspiration? Uh, uh yeah, if you, if you haven't used it, then you would. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Yeah, sorry for being late, guys. That's a 10. That's a 10, but I've seen another use of my inspiration. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, I like that. Like, if you roll that one, you get inspiration. Well, I... Yeah. I, actually, you wouldn't because that wouldn't be your... Uh, lines are fuzzy, I would say, yeah, keep it, since that's a natural... I'll, I'll refund your inspiration on that time. I'll think about it more All in the right. future. Second attack. 24 that definitely hit. hits. Uh, for... Yeah, six bludgeoning damage, plus... Um... Wait, is that rolling a d8 or a d6? It's rolling a d8, okay. Plus 2d6. Uh, for 7 force damage. Alright, so that's a total of 13. And I know I technically can't grapple ghosts, but do the ten can the tendrils? Ooh, because they, they are immune to the grapple condition. Oh, they're immune to grappling. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Who's saying our card cannot grapple? Um, action surge. Alright. 
You should get him gloves to allow him to grab ghosts. There are things like that, actually. 15, 15 hits! Hit. Alright. Roll 2d6. Uh, so, 13 bludgeoning, 4 force. Alright. And then, last strike, dirty 20. Hits. And you don't even need to roll the force damage. Got you it. hit this thing and... Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Lima. Lima nope, you, you can't do that. You're going straight through the wall. I'm taking a that. dash action. I'm taking a dash action. Well then, say you're taking a dash action because you. I was, I was going to when I first pressed push to talk. Remember, I've used push to talk. I can't say anything out loud anymore. Okay, but you were also just showing your thing going right through the wall, so it looked like you were going right through the wall. He, uh, I beforehand I, he actually plotted the course. Okay, I did not yeah, see that. The, yeah, what happens is on the other player's end, even if you are shown moving your piece around, it doesn't show the process. It only shows the end and. Yeah, so all I was seeing was line to the point you wanted to go, and then you go there. I'm sorry, but there is no indication of DAS action. No Here. worries! Also, uh, uh, I hate uh, what I'm about to do because I'm right now, right now next to friendlies. I am doing a bonus action as well! Mm -hmm. Oh dear. But are you going to bonus action? Okay. Nasher's mischief. And... What saving throw is that? Oh boy. It's an area first, and then we have a random effect that's gonna go off that. Which target, and what do I need to save against? It is a 20 foot cube with fey magic or dramatronic magic. And I can move it up to 10 feet before I roll each turn. Which so, uh, which creatures are you targeting? No, no, it's an area. I, I get that, but which creatures are being in the in the area? Oh, okay. Oh, oh those is the bubble. Those. All right, what do I need to save? You need to. Well, first we need to see what I'm about to roll for this, because we need to roll D4 for this. Okay, it's a four, so you need to save against. Uh, no, it's just difficult to rain right now. All right. Is it the ground difficult terrain or all of it difficult terrain? All of it in diff is difficult terrain in that cube. All right. So oh, it, it's just a cube of difficult terrain. Got it. Now roll wild magic because you're going. What's to. the area exactly? Twenty foot cube. So presumably it starts with them and then goes back. So everywhere over here. No, uh, like. Uh, what is the 20 foot cube, Joe? Show us with your ruler. Uh, I was just gonna make a box. Let's see, uh, is it 20 foot radius or diameter? It's a cube. Uh, so then does it go back? Is that the front line of the cube? Where you're drawing? This would be how big it is. No, that's supposed to be roughly the middle. Hold on. So it's no worries. Uh, this would be how big the cube could be. Uh, where ping, you want ping where you want the, the... Yeah, ping where you want the center of the cube. I mean, you could... Right here. They're so hitting Archon as well. Yes, but Archon probably is not planning to move, thankfully. You can also just put it up one. Yeah. True, I'll put up one then. Put up one. Alright. Also, uh... I'm not one size category, size category larger for a minute. I will say that you, um... Can he fit through the doorway? You He's squeeze... You you grow, and then you squeeze out and push Frederick out as well. Uh-oh. All right, uh, we grace. now go to the creatures. The ghost... Is, does the stun only last one turn, or...? Yes. Uh, Thank first God. off, I have to roll to see if it recharges that. It does! Five. Uh, did he cast it in a row? Yep. 
Wait, do I get an attack of opportunity or no? Uh, no, because it, it, it didn't leave your attack range. Oh. So that means... Can attack over this corner still? It's not move. it's not, it went through you. It wasn't leaving your range, so you don't get attack of opportunity. Oh. Yeah, if it, if it leaves your five foot threat reach, then it provokes attack of opportunity. However, if it moves just through your threat, then it won't provoke. That is going to be right. everyone needing to make a wisdom saving throw. Well, against magic? Yep. Not magic? Not magic. Uh, am I within range? Yes, because it is a 30 feet. And now we pray. And you said... I failed that. Wait, you said it's I not magic, that so right? hard. Correct. God damn it, I hate getting stunned again. You said wisdom? Yes. Uh, yes, my weakness. Everyone who fails, it is 13 psychic damage and you're stunned for the round. What's the saving throw? Damn. 14! Okay, 14? Mm. Well, that shit! 13? I will use my last point of luck because I'm honestly... I, I, I'm, I'm re-rolling that. I am re-rolling that. I am using my fucking... Inspiration. Inspiration. Can I re-roll? Actually, I don't think I've used inspiration at all. What the fuck? Damn, I don't think I've ever used inspiration. Can I try it? I don't think you've gotten inspiration. I've never used inspiration at all. Um, I, I, the thing is, you need to get inspiration to use inspiration. I don't think you've ever gotten it. Oh. I feel oh so God. bad about this. Holy Look crap. All fun. Holy crap, I... We are all no, fun. are busted. And that is 13 damage to everyone. Wait, there's I one person really who dead. can still roll. Tony! So, uh, 13 damage to me? 13 psychic damage, yes. I already okay. lost the first roll. Do I roll another one? one per Wait, hold on, guys. One person succeeded. Tony. Tony. He got 20. Oh. So, what happens? So, I, the first one I failed on, what, there was a second one after that? No, there wasn't a second one, no. No. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Uh, they have half movement. I, I accounted for that. They have 40 feet of movement. Tony, how the hell are you if you only one? Frederick is stunned. Wait. But Frederick stunned. Wait, no, Tommy! Oh. Tommy, you succeeded. You didn't need the luck point. Because oh, really? you get you I'll get look. your charisma bot saves. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, you you also you also rolled you also rolled straight wisdom, not a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm retarded. So even even that that that's a nine on the die, plus one, plus so right. Tommy is not stunned. Wait, when did I get? Wait, when did I get? So that is a. Wait. No, I thought they took. The, I thought they swapped. We're bound. Hold on. Magic. Hold on. Does it? No, I think they changed that. Or I wait. Oh wait, right. Know. It would be. It would be a sixth level feature. Um. Although yeah, you are right. Uh, my wisdom is plus four. I actually pro. But that would only be a plus three onto what you rolled, so never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. And yeah, no, it's okay. Hope was nice. Alright, Lima, does a 17 hit you? Here's the thing. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, give me a second. Let me look up the sun condition. That's advantage, but not auto crit. Par paralyzes auto crit, not stunned. My AC is 16, so it will hit. I was waiting for people to kind of up on for a half second. Sixteen psychic damage. To everybody? To Lima. 
Ah, uh, our arch nemesis mental conditions. No, it's not yep. that. And it's it's not magic, so I can't do shit. I've literally been rolling low for both Archon and Frederick. Yeah. Are you the one company is like surprisingly resilient today. And that's a natural twenty against Lima. Oh my god. I can't do anything because I'm not in visual sight and I don't have a reaction. And you you're also just completely incapacitated. Yeah. Oh. Oh God! So that was three sixes and a one on four d six. How much damage? Uh, with Perkins rules, that is twenty four plus nineteen. Did you just kill Lima? Not kill, but at least KO. I don't say kill unless you fail all three death saves. 19 plus 24, that is 33. 43. 43. Good news, I'm not KO'd yet. All right. Frederick is stunned. Tommy is stunned, but Tony can do something. Bad news, I'm at 9 HP. Tony can't heal or cast spells. Because that requires me to wait. Yeah, it requires me to use my action still. But he can spell. scratch. But doesn't that require my reaction to allow him to do that? I would say since you're, I would say since you're stunned, um, remove that restriction. Okay, house rules is okay. Tony, do Tony things. Tony is going. Attack! Attack the ghost with a scratch attack. Tony is about to do his first combat. <laughs> this is a sentence I was done. Uh, what, le what level? What level? We'll say that this spell was cast at a uh, third level. That was actually the intention oh, planning on doing as we traveled. Yeah, because he, because you would have traveled at some point, so you would have been able to cast that third level and get the spell slot back. So, you are get, okay. Yeah. So Tony spells level radiant. So do so Tony uses my spellcasting modifier to hit. Yep. Oh. So roll a so roll roll basically plus seven. plus seven. Yeah. So eight plus seven, fifteen hits. Ah, oh, <laughs> the Tony totally invisible. Or radiant damage actually. Or radiant. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy scratch. You just see him fly into the air from and go. Does he just do like a holy scratch attack? Yes. He is a holy type of beautiful. Alright, unfortunately, oh Zuko stunned, Archon stunned, oh, Lima stunned. <laughs> I hate this. Hold on. I can still move the spell and need to roll, which you would have done. But, well, no, because if you're stunned, you're incapacitated, you can't concentrate. So spell yeah, ends. Uh, through the cube then, please. Okay, my bad. All right, the creature did not replenish its scream. Five. Thank God. Ten. Fifteen. Tommy, you are no longer stunned, so this is an advantage. Uh, seven plus. What was its attack modifier? Uh, seven plus six. <laughs> You're Tommy. It doesn't hit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 22 armor class, just naturally. Alright. This one is going to go over to Zuko. And then the the one that's next to I'm Lima. so dead with how much health I have left. The one that's next to, to Archon is going to attack Tony. That is going to be a 16 plus, uh, plus 6. Frederick doesn't have his... Uh, he's technically flying right now, so... He has hey, 30 it, it can fly up to meet. So hey, it'll grab uh, Tony. And question. Question. Yeah. question. Yes. Yep. Does... Frederick have his reaction or no? Yes. Alright, that's gonna be at disadvantage. 
Unfortunately, that's a natural 20 for the second roll. Oh so my god. It was still the 16. It's okay. Tony is immortal now. It reaches up and Tony. Explodes into nothingness. Yeah, I presume he did at least six damage. Yeah, that, that is like base. Yeah, base um, of 8 damage is all we really need to snuff a Tony out. I think I'm getting hit next. Well, but actually... Dead. He just goes to one hit point and is just teleported out. Uh, I'm gonna roll... I'm gonna roll a d6. Evens is Zuko, odds is Frederick. That's Evens, Zuko. Oh god, fuck. Fifteen plus six. Fifteen plus six hits me. Uh, that is gonna be eleven plus three, so sixteen psychic damage. Or right, fourteen I psychic hit. damage! Wow, that math! <laughs> fourteen, I get hit. I'm still up, but, uh... Not doing great. Frederick turn. I'm at 10 hit points. Jesus. Frederick is... Frederick is, uh, justifyingly, like, upset and frustrated and takes two swings at this ghost. All right. Um... Second. Right. So this is at. Actually, oh no, because he will leave threat range. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I I do want to apologize for how well I've been rolling. I feel so bad You're about good. it. Yeah. yeah. This is our first dungeon we've done. Before, so I'm okay with it. Frederick's gonna go here, which provokes attack of opportunity. All right. Give me a second. I'm trying to do shit. But it's not letting me do shit because... Uh, 12 misses. 12 misses, yes. Because... Oh. His AC is 18. Yep. Um... Attack 1. 13 does not hit. 13 barely misses. Wait, no, 13 is AC! 13 hits! Oh! I thought it was 14, Wait. I just double-checked. 13 hits. Alright, so two hits. For seven. What do, do with the gauntlet after you beat him? Uh, I, Zuko okay. took it. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. So then that is a six I put it damage. Away. I had to brush the skin because it's because resistant. Yeah, 13 halved is six, yeah. I think Zuko head probably is going to take time to sanitize it first before putting it on. Is that uh, Frederick's whole turn? Uh, that is... Give me a second. He is going to... Um... Yep, that'll be all. Alright. Tommy turn. Tommy Tinker turn. Hey. You know how I have two attacks now and an yep. actual weapon? Yep. Just keep in mind, it only does D4, because <laughs> it is a light hammer. Yes. But I am a paladin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Divine Eternal Dead? I at the enemy with the hammer. Because right. this is a silver-coated light hammer. It's also magical, oh. so the silver doesn't matter. <laughs> yes. The amount... Oh, strike. Oh, yeah. Also, wait. Is light base light hammer actually a d4? Yes. Light hammer is a d4, yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Weak weapon. Strong in effects, though. So, uh, in that case, Tommy is going to strike. I will say that, um, that, uh, Divine Smite was, uh, no longer has the additional d4 against Undead, so it is just, uh, 1 plus spell level d8s. That's a thing? 
Actually, it wasn't a D4. It was an additional 2D8 no, to then, Undead. Uh, it, it was just an additional 1D8 to Undead and Fiends. Okay, I didn't even know that but, was a feature, so but, I'm ignoring it. Yeah, so so it's just it's just um, one plus spell level D8 added for Divine Smite. Oh yeah, no, it is an additional uh, D8, my bad. Uh, let's see, so the first hit is a 10. Oh, oh plus... Wait, no, sorry. Sorry. Plus three because of proficiency. I am stupid. So, yeah, 13. And then plus two because hammer. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, wait, it's a plus two? I thought it was a plus one. It's a plus two? Wait, no, no, oh, no, no. It's just a wait. hammer. It's just a plus one. Uh, Wait. Yeah, so. No, you're right. It was it was plus one. I I got caught up in my future plans for it. <laughs> so fourteen AC. Sorry, not thirteen AC. AC. Uh, fourteen ahead. Fourteen, 14 hits. Ahead. Okay. Again. Why do I keep rolling the strike? Okay, my bad. Okay, so uh, well thirteen on the second one. So. Wait, I, I, thirteen. Well, because that was, that was three on the die. Plus, uh, and then it would be plus three for proficiency, and then one for the hammer. Yeah. So it would be ten on ten total for the second one. Why not? This is just extra. Wait, what? Wait, why is it ten? But because because it's you. If you rolled strength, that's plus three, and then it's plus three from proficiency, and then plus one from hammer. Oh, okay. Now I see. Okay, my bad. My bad. Yeah. It already yeah, counts. No Strength. 10 for yeah. the second one to hit? 10 does not hit. Okay. So. Third level smite. That, let me double check. If that I is. Added third level awesome. smite is going to be 4d8. So it is. Total is 1d4. Plus four, plus forty-eight. Yes, that's part. The forty-eight. Radiant. Now roll the the hammer down. Oh, oh, never mind. I I saw you yeah, just rolled the hammer. Yeah, the hammer was damage. really weak. Uh, so four bludgeoning. Or sorry, five bludgeoning damage. Because plus one hammer. Yeah. And then. 1T total on the 48. Yep. So that is a total of, unless he has any weaknesses to Radiant, um, that is a total of 24 damage. All right. A single hammer strike up the jaw. And then you try another, but then the, but you aim a little bit too low and you uppercut okay. it too strong. <laughs> yeah, still getting used to the hammer. Zuko. Finally, I can act. Um, seeing as how badly injured I am, I'm gonna put one hand on my head, one on my chest, and you cast uh, Lay on Hands. You mean uh, Healing Word? Oh, yeah, no, I thought I had to. Uh, sorry, yeah, I guess Are Healing Word. Cure Wounds, wounds sorry. Uh, you, you wouldn't have Cure Wounds anymore because it's. It, it's um, you would only have healing word for healing spells. Really? When, when did I lose it? Back uh, with the bard. Healing. Back with the bard, because uh, bard is arcane, and then the only healing they got early level was healing word. That's... Yeah. Extremely stupid. Although, I can differentiate the cleric and the bard more. Yeah. Which kind of makes sense. Like, you don't see exactly how bards go and patting people on the back as their way of healing. Yeah. So I get, I get the frustration, but I also get the idea behind it. Ah, nerfing. Gotta love how painful it is. Hmm. So it's 2d8 plus 4. It'd be 2d4 plus 4, because it's cure, it's healing word. Plus 4, okay, I will cast healing word on myself. For 9 hit points recovered. Alright. 
And then you also still have your action. Alright, um... Richie, can you to attack? That was a bonus action, I believe. Yep. Let me just first recover my hit points. So putting me at 19 at the moment. Alright. Um... I'm torn because on the one hand I could probably try to heal uh, Lima, or I can try and just hit the ghost in front of me for massive damage. Um, I will. I mean, if I try to just hit the ghost in front of me, that will probably hit Lima. There's another ghost that already is going to do that anyway, so. I'm torn because I want to help at the same time. You know what? Tommy's already on the way, so I'm going to hit the ghost in front of me with a chilling touch. All right, roll to attack. Because uh, it's got special damage against undead. Roll to attack. So now that's... Oh, yeah. Okay. It would be a disadvantage because melee. No, I don't get the disadvantage. All right, spell anymore. sniper. Right. Yeah. I don't suffer disadvantage anymore, DM. Right, spell sniper. Yep. yep. I don't okay. have to suffer melee anymore. What is your attack roll? My attack is plus eight because of the bonus. Does a twenty hit the ghost in front of me? You send forward your spectral hand right into the center of the ghost. Oh, and you have the hand glow with it and just immediately grab its face. Unfortunately, it the attack does nothing as it is immune to necrotic. Oh no, it's undead, so it doesn't. It actually does take damage. What is the wording on Chill Touch? Because it is straight up immune to necrotic that is in the stat block. It doesn't take damage, but it cannot heal. It does right then, though. It does more, by the way, than just that. It uh, it produces the fright condition on any undead that it hits. It's the one caveat that actually makes it good against undead still. So yeah, it doesn't take the necrotic damage, but it can't heal. And it has disadvantage on you until it's until the end of its next turn. Got it. Yep. It's a frightened condition. It's, it's not the frightened condition, it's just disadvantage. I just took a look at it. Oh, yep. shit. Okay, never mind. Maybe that's the And, uh, I'm just, I can't heal, I can't use the bar feature because I already used my bonus action. I can't, I can't give up my move for a bonus action, can I? Uh, you cannot. So I, I, I will say that Bardic else. Inspiration has changed where it's now a reaction to get the bonus instead of bonus action, now you have it. It's, hey, have it, have this on your roll. Okay, I will just, like I guess I can only just stop there because I can't heal Lima right now. All right, Archron turn. Finally! <laughs> Joking. Punch I the ghost. Uh, Archon is gonna go and punchy punchy a ghost. All right. Um, he's gonna move down first. Um, and he's gonna attack the one that Frederick is attacking. All right. So wing, so wing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> So that is 22 to hit, 11 bludgeoning damage. And, uh, that's also a roll of the, So, uh, eight, clock. so eight plus, so 30, uh, yeah, you, you proof another ghost. Just, just from minimum damage. <laughs> yep, I don't even have, I don't even have to roll the Eldritch Claws. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you use your bonus action? Bonus action, second wind. Alright, uh, let, I'll let Lima take their turn while you're rolling that. Uh, so I heal for... Uh, only five. Lima turn. Wait, no. Second wind is... 
plus defense. plus fighter level, I believe. Plus fighter level, yeah. So that's eight. So I am gonna just touch a limbo the uh, ghost right in front of Zuko as much as I want to go to like Tommy and help out there. I'm too big to do so. Roll to attack. And it can't heal, so that's the good news. 18 hits. Roll damage. It's both satisfying, but also sad when, like, you set up a dungeon and one of the encounters works really well. Yeah. But I have to, uh... What damage are you speaking? I'm gonna choose Thunder and take the uh, temporary hit point, so I had to roll a d4. Alright, you choose Thunder. Unfortunately, it is not as effective as you thought it would be. Alright. Creature's turn. Well, well, it's thunder or force, so I thought, like, force would be a worse decision. Force is I either in... There is, okay, there is only one There is only one creature that is resistant to force damage, and it's the Amethyst Dragons. Every other creature is either immune to force, or does not does not have anything regarding force. Well, that's true. I did research also, on it. It is really hard to find any... Force is usually the best damage type to pick because it is either going to be full immune or it's going to not, and that is even very rare. Anyway, the creature's yeah, turn. Wait, Lima. Not only, not only that, remember, I've been hitting it with force damage. Yeah. Uh, do you use your Does bonus action, Lima? Lima, do you use your bonus action? No. All right. Creature's turn. Tommy. <laughs> no, doesn't hit. Well, I'm in my. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 22 is the uh, no. So I now know how to press the path as a turtle. All right, that is gonna be Arkon, Lima, and Zuko. Wisdom saving throws. God damn it. Wait. So it re it re. Did it refresh itself, or...? It's not using the, the stunned one, it's using the other one. Um... Ah... Uh, okay, so uh, it has disadvantage against me, but because I have to roll, I guess that gets around that? Yes. 16, do I succeed? Yes. I do not succeed. 16 Neither does succeed. Uh, Frederick could not be affected, it's only three creatures. Okay, never mind. All right, Lima, make a melee attack, make a hammer attack against Zuko. Arkram, make an attack against Lima. And then, um, I'm sorry, Lima, but this is going to fucking hurt. It has to I be hammer attack, attack not spell attack. Although I that actually would be because both both of them are the same. Yes, I, I just fire. remembered that. Um, nineteen hits me. Uh, no, no, nineteen is no. against Lima. That will hit. Uh, so you only take eleven damage total. Thank fuck, I chose temporary HP. Alright, and then how much does Zuko take? Wait, am I getting hit? Where, where's the hit? Lima attacked you with a... Uh, yeah, oh wait, yeah, no, yeah, 12 yeah. to hit. Running. 12 to hit, sorry. Alright. Roll hammer damage. I am glass cannon. I hit hard, but I fucking... fall over easy. Um... Where's the fighter 1 D&D &D stuff? That is, um, that is the latest one that got released. Okay. So the Pally one? No, the, that is, um, the player's handbook one. That's 
So then 5 plus 10 damage to Zuko. 10 damage? Yep. I down the 9. Frederick turn. Okay, we're doing D&D. Okay. 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 I'm gonna just be proactive. 5, 10, 15. And he's probably just gonna attack, right, Presley? Oh! Sorry, my bad. Uh, I forgot. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna attack the ghost. I will roll. Sorry, my bad. I was trying to read stuff. Yeah, uh, roll. That, that's an unnatural 19, so that's not a crit. Yeah. Uh, so one attack lands uh, for 10 bludgeoning. All right. And is he going to use second wind? Um, he's actually not as damaged, so... Alright. Well, actually, no, he's been taking a shit ton of damage, my bad. Uh, I, yeah, so I will second win that. We'll have Tommy go while you roll. I... You, uh, we didn't... You, you didn't. Yeah, it's, it's just because of how I would have to set it up in the stat block, I'll just... Oh, he, he heals. He heals full. Nice, <laughs> Tommy. Okay. Can you for me roll two hammer attacks? So that is a plus it, uh, plus four. Plus seven. Plus seven, right? Wait, why plus? I I I was I was not counting plus proficiency seven, bonus. Yeah, it's okay. Understandable. So that is going to be a 9 doesn't hit, and an 8 doesn't hit. Oh my god! That's a nat 1. Okay, you know what? He has luck. He has luck. Oh, yep. Uh, no, did... I'm out. No, you didn't get to use your last luck, didn't you? No, I used, oh. the, I used my last luck when was suspiciously missing two. Oh yeah, I used my last luck earlier when I was trying to... Uh, make the saving throw. All right. In that case, I will use my inspiration. I have not used this entire game. All right. Twenty-three hits. I think only. Uh... Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I just realized switching to one D and D, I can get either uh, another ASI or another feat. Oh, nice. We'll take I care of that after the session. Yeah. What's one D and D? The it's gonna it's basically oh, five point five. It's coming out next year. Mm. It's why we have these. It's so that is. Are you gonna define smite on this at all? Yeah, I'm not sure because like right now it's the only thing you got going for me at the moment. All right, what level or divine smite are you using? Number three, because I have a really large pool of spell points to work with. Which, by the way, I will say, as a person who's played D&D a lot of times, I love the spell point system way more. You rolled almost minimum on the divine smite! Rolled min. I roll? No, there, there is a two in there. It was <laughs> three ones and a two. That's why I said almost man. Yeah. Oh, I, I the almost got and cut out. Each is cursed with all the ones. Okay, all right. Can you roll the D4? I I also rolled the D4. You got max on the D4. Irony. Zuko turned. Okay, this ghost still has a mood for him. I'm gonna shoot it in the face with melee range Eldritch Blast. All right. That cat, wait, did you add the three damage from my strength plus the plus one bonus? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit in the face. And remember, you do get two beams. Fire one in its face, a 19. Hits. Fire two, 25. Hits. Force damage, both. 
So, uh, now we roll plus, damage. 2d10 plus... You have a plus 4, so 2d10 plus 8. Wait, 2d10? Because you hit yeah. with both. No, uh, Eldritch Blast is, uh, higher, right? Right now? No, it's, it's still d10. Yeah, no, it's, um, oh, yeah, two no, different it's attacks. So it's not 2d10, it's two different, uh... No, yeah, b because you hit with both of them, just roll both together. Because it doesn't matter. So it's plus what? Plus what? Plus eight. eight. Oh yeah, because... Alright, why not? Uh, does an 18 kill him? 18 damage. Uh, well, no, ro roll your second d10, because you had two. I rolled... Oh. Just roll another d10, but don't pl add anything. Yeah. Does a 23 kill it? <laughs> no. Just barely. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> left his... Fuckers. Tommy left his with 2 HP. You left yours with 1. <laughs> Our crumbs oh, turn. Okay. I got this. Can I just flavor it so that I just had to the Eldritch Blast into punches? Like, dick. Dick. Don't worry, Archon's gonna do a uh, hit and run. Alright, 17 know. hits! That's definitely enough to kill. I haven't Archon. had enough! Go no, no, no. quick, Archon is, is turning. Roll second attack. Look, it's a... I'll imagine this is just. Zuko just punches it down to 1 HP and it's doing that hit. You know that Mortal Kombat, uh, like, dazed look? Alright, to finish him. And then Archer go quickly Archer on his days as he just kind of oh, slimes God. him. I rolled mid on fucking Eldritch Claw tattoos. <laughs> well, oh, you still God. killed it because it had two HP. <laughs> and then Archon is just going to, after that, he's just gonna fall to his knees and be like, "That was fucking annoying." Stop. I'm yeah, agreed. Guys! I, I think we should rest for a bit. I'm still fighting here! No, you're not. not. Oh, right. Our, our card killed it. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I had no context. I need to rest for a minute. Oh god, that scream has my ears ringing. Ow. Wait, why am I saying that? You guys want to set up here for a second? That's the first time I think we've ever agreed on that. Really? When was the last Pretty time? Pretty sure what it is in. Okay. We don't really set camp during a mission often, do we? Well, uh, considering how badly wounded we are, I think right now is a good idea. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Hey, uh... Um, Who's taking first watch? Um... Are you guys taking a long rest or a short rest? Short rest would only take an hour and would probably be better. Yeah. Yeah, short rest. Um, can I use... Do I get to use the Song of Rest again? Yeah, you don't have I Song know. of Rest anymore. That's replaced by how you have, um... How you have Healing Word. Oof. That's gotta hurt. What well, build is can't heal as much anymore. Sorry, guys. Well, here's the, the thing. The one time you can use Song of Rest and you no longer have it. Holy shit, that hurts. On a short rest, we can spend as many hit dice as we want. Yeah. And since you're taking an hour, Zuko, mm -hmm. you can attune to the Bracer. And I'll rest I'm and put the Bracer on. All right, I will DM you can the I, details. Can I, can I take, a few, take, I take a minute to uh, sanitize it first? Yeah, I'll DM you the details of the Bracer. So I'm gonna first uh, take a alcohol cloth and just wipe the inside. Oh, this is disgusting. I just see the skin. Ew. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is so gross. I'm just like cleaning it out. You see Zinger just like mortified. Oh, this is so gross. That actually is a good fucking short rest for me. Because <laughs> you were shit, almost you down. <laughs> So, uh, how do I recover hit points again with the short rest? So you can Real choose... You, so you have, um, as many hit dice as your level. So, for you, it's, um, 
Like basically, however, whatever your level is in Bard, you have that many D8s, and then your level in Warlock, you have, I think it's also D8, and you can spend the, uh, as many of those. When you roll any of them, it is that roll plus your constitution, that's how much you get back. I guess I'm gonna roll, uh, six, four in Bard, uh, so that's 48. Yes. Okay. I get more plus my constitution uh, yes plus your plus constitution your modifier for each roll <laughs> that puts me back up to full so i have a plus one i think yeah okay can i just state something before tony was able to heal me i was at 27. 15 great I all right i'm at 15. So, so it would be it would be 18. Health. It would be 18 because you have an additional three. Because it's constitution modifier for each thing. Ah, oh, so 23? No, 18. Okay, because it's an additional three. That, so I'm at 27 out of 51. That's not horrible. I am now 68 out of... Not, yeah, 68 out of... 86, so that's the reverse of what I max HP. <laughs> and this is why you don't split the party! It's, it's kind of Why did you split the party? I would love to not be talking over, sorry. 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 Uh, sorry, I, it's not, I, I normally wouldn't ha wouldn't be like this, but with the pain and everything, I have a shorter tolerance. No, I get it. Yeah, no, completely um, fair. But uh, it is, you said it's a con, it's it's a hit die plus con per roll, correct? Yes. All right, cool. That actually puts me up to full. Um, and um, Andrew, do you want to roll any hit dice at all or are you fine? I am literally untouched like a newborn infant. You did take um, some damage from the psychics, but it's minimal. And I think I don't have any luck or inspiration now, right? Correct. Yeah. But uh, but for, for Zuko, I've DM'd you what the Bracer can do. It does need attunement. Okay. So I will definitely put on the Bracer, given that last feature. I, my armor is not great. By the way, I think you so... know what you're taking. Also, uh, I, I forgot to explain why it was going to be nasty if Arkron ever failed the save against the Bracer. Uh, because if you fail that save, you have disadvantage on the next save that creature makes you take. So that means you would have had disadvantage on stunning strike save. Yeah. Hey, Zuko. You said your armor yeah. is naked? Yeah, no, I... Uh... Okay, what's Zuko? It feels weird. Well, Zuko's now getting if if you take your leather armor off if you're wearing it, you now get your charisma bonus to your AC. Oh, okay. I have to the leather armor for the bracer. And so it's your unarmored AC is what the bracer modifies. So if you still have your leather armor on, it will not apply. Hmm. I always want the logic to just use the higher of the two. Yeah, I think this gives more because it uses my charisma. Yeah, so then it would be dexterity mod plus charisma mod plus 10. Versus 1 plus charisma mod plus 10. So, what would the leather armor give me in this case? Leather armor would just be 11 plus dex. Not dexterity. Not dex plus charisma my plus 10. Armor and uh, just kind of wear my regular clothes. That as I kind of put the bracer on, I'm like, Ugh. this feels weird. Yeah, I gotta I just kind of try flexing my fingers. Why do you think he's down here? That that guy was, or whoever that was, someone. What's their face? What have I been down here for? Isn't it a bad idea to keep going? Um, they locked the door on us, if you didn't notice before, Tommy. I don't think we have a choice to, but to keep going. Oh yeah, I think I was too busy still being traumatized by the loss of being on. We have to finish this dungeon before we connect. Yeah, I, I tried to ask everyone, because I got the bracer, if we can just turn around, but Arkron was dead set on finishing the job. 
And so now that the door is shut, that's what we have to do. I actually, yeah, there's not that. That makes sense. That makes more sense than like half the other stories I hear about people getting stuck in these situations. Like seriously, I you think that need some new a armor reasonable when we get group out of here. people just leave after obtaining their goal? But no, th there are people who just keep looking for more things. Well, <laughs> the, main, so the main reason why I decided for us to keep going is so that we can prevent the other thing from being grabbed. The other artifacts. We already have one, which we lost before, but now he wants to make sure they don't have the others. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Which, I don't know if I want to hold the staff, per se. It looks at my quarterstaff. I feel having one artifact like this is the only enough. The staff, by the way, they have the staff. I know, but what if we do get it, I don't know if I should hold on to it. But if necessary, I'll make preparations. Right now, I'm just trying to get used to the sensation of this glove. I think I know, unfortunately, a better um, for the staff as I look over at Lima, if we ended up with it. Huh? Let's be honest. No, there is no safer. There is no re more. Re there is no better place than to keep these away from the people who own them. No one person should be attuned to more than one of these. Do you guys go back for the other chest? I, Tommy will I'm take, take a minute. Uh, we will go with Tommy to go to the chest. And, um, such a we're talking over each other. What right. happened? Oh wait, I spoiled what was at the end of the pathway. Does anyone go down the other pathway that Lima and Tommy were going down? Wait, did you guys turn me into a I... flashlight? I thought I that you had I aura. Uh, I can recheck, but I I thought you had aura. So no, I'm okay I kind of don't want to go down there alone, so I look at the rest of the party. Wait, hold on. Wait, I think I actually do have light. Yeah, you do. Oh no, I have light and blue square. Zuko, you have light, right? I have prestidigitation, which works as light. Right, I was going to say, uh, I, w I was okay with the idea of being turned into a flashlight. <laughs> Alright, so who's going down the other path? I am um, as a human shield. I have the least amount of damage on me. I don't want to separate the party, so I'll go with the rest. I'm going with Tommy, because I was ready to finally go there anyway. Alright, I'm just going to... Are you coming? There's another chest. Um. Okay. Guys, you might want to stay a distance back. I'm worried about what a mysterious, suspicious chest at the end of a hallway has to offer. Uh, can I poke it? I'm gonna throw a torch at it again. Same thing as last time. Tommy will open the chest and kind of put himself in the way of everyone, just in case, so they don't get hit. If something mm -hmm. You open the chest and find a bottle that stopped with a cork and is embossed with gold leaf and set with amethysts. May I look at the bottle? Yes. I can actually use the thing now. I cast identify. Uh, what does identify do? Um, one moment. It's a divination. It allows me to tell what it is. Yeah. What is it? Also, did I ever get, recover my spell points from the rest? Uh, identify would, um, would only determine magical things. Uh, you do not get anything magical off this bottle. I'm gonna then read the bottle closely with uh, whatever regular identify identifying thing there is. You investigate. You read it. Um, unfortunately, you did take an hour to rest, which means comprehend languages is down. Damn. Hold on, I need to check to see if this is a ritual spell because it seems like it should be. 
Yeah, right. What, identify? Comprehend language? Okay. Identify definitely is. I need to see comprehend languages. Uh, I was gonna say, if I recharge my spell slots, I might want to cast you that You do not recharge spells on short rest. It's a ritual. Okay. Comprehend is a ritual? Okay. okay. Yeah, so you can, yeah, you can, you can ritual cast it. Uh, you can refund your spell points from the beginning when you cast it. I guess I'll do it again, I guess. All right, you, you read it, and um, it's basically a very... It is an old bottle of wine. Like, ancient. So this would is go it for... Is not drinkable? Can I, can I use my gut well, to tell, is this drinkable? Um, like, if it's ancient, is it not drinkable at that point? Well, it would be worth $750 to a collector, but this is, like... Thousands of years old wine. I will pocket it just because I feel like I should hold on to wine this divine. Well, I do not trust you with a bottle of alcohol. No, I'm taking you. this. I'm not drinking it. I'm not going to drink that thing. Uh, also, it's because I have not been hit once yet, and I probably am the safest place for it to not break. I will hang on to the bottle. Fine, I'll let you hold on to the bottle. I will right. shove it in my throat with the other stuff. I was and just referring then, to, I didn't want it to break. Yeah. And then I presume oh, you all go back to the... Case, me, I will entrust, I look at Tommy and go, I'll have trouble on this bottle, but I want it back later. Because, uh, one, I trust myself not to drink it, but also I want to sell it for the greater good. Now, which of these three paths, or four paths, you go down? I, I entrust uh, the before bottle. Any that, before any of that happens, I'd like to quickly, my, uh, quickly ask, who still massively hurt? What? Who needs healing still? Who needs healing still? Um, I am at still at a little more than half health. So Liam's gonna toss you an HP potion, and Liam's gonna drink one herself. Anyone else need healing? Zuko kind of just feels his magic just to tell how much he has left, and then drinks the potion. All right. Which of the what four paths? Uh, for a potion, it's 2d4 plus 2. Seven hit points, that'll do. Now, which of the paths do you guys want to go down? Let's see. We went through that way, so I want to guess... Let's check the right in front before we go left. Left seems uh, I actually like to quickly use like uh, one of my uh, magical awareness to get an idea where we should go. If that's all right. How far is magic? You you ping magical awareness and you do not sense anything. Tommy will go forward to this door and suggest we go this way. Tommy will take one point. All right. You reach a dead end follow. this way, but there is a path. Whoop. Why does that wall look suspicious for some reason? Wait, where did everyone go? Back to there. the room and then down the right path. Got it. I mean, we'll ignore that wall that looks very suspicious later. I mean, we'll go this way. Mm-hmm. You see, another chest. Tommy um, will. I will first like to throw a torch at it and make sure it makes another wooden clank sound instead. It does. Oh, you're checking for mimics. I just realized. <laughs> he just okay. noticed. Tommy may no understand magic now, but he's still trying to understand magical creatures. Do you open the chest? You open the chest, and inside you see both another very fancy bottle and a equally fancy but also much more tasteful looking book. Oh, Andrew takes both. It's in the box. You, as, as you look at the book, at first, the letters are in a language that you do not understand, but soon 
they shift, and you can read them as a tome of wisdom. Did you find another bottle, Tommy? Oh. Yes, oh. Nice. None of us are good with wisdom. We should probably put it with the other one. Wait, there was another. Hey guys. Oh, there was another bottle. It's Wait, fun. I'm gonna go up to Tommy. Can I read the bottle? It's the same bottle. Oh boy, two for two. Tommy, put this with the other. I thought you were joking the first one. Uh, Presley, you had something you wanted to I'll say? I'll give it back to you because I felt you probably could hang it and carry it better than I can. Presley! I was saying, I was saying it's thundering and lightning. Ooh. Very, very frightening. Galileo. No right. one? Okay. So, Tommy, you can have add a tome, tome of understanding to your inventory. I'm just going to leave the two bottles in Tommy's, but I'm probably going to sell them later and maybe donate half of it to charity. All right. Because Tommy wouldn't you proceed look at down, me otherwise. You proceed down one of the other three paths. Is there anything down this way or no? No, that's a dead end. Okay. I'm going to... Can I... Um, I Take forgot point. if I have a flare spell or anything like that. I do not believe you do. I think the only, the light is mostly Tommy. But also, Zuko, uh, remember, um, you have Devil Sight, so you can just see perfectly. Uh, what can uh, I see? I'm, I'm also casting... Excuse me? But I'm also casting my uh, spell, going to catch up there, which you can see up above. Um, DM, what can I see over here? Uh, I well, first sight. off, this way is another dead end. This way is not quite a dead end, there is a turn. But then... Uh, um, there may be something around the corner, guys. Wait. I'm gonna actually well, let Tommy go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna take point. I, you guys are the most hurt. I'm just gonna immediately kind of signal to Tommy as he comes over. There's another turn over here. Or he's still wanting my attention and he wants to get in his box. Sorry, my cat is being weird. He wants attention, but he keeps trying to Bit stab. Did request reading? Okay. Okay. Honestly, that's right. actually pretty. Yeah, strange. honestly, dungeon initiative might be a good idea. I so it's actually kind of getting a bit annoying. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. You have one person talking, and then immediately someone interjects and cuts them off. Yeah, that's happened at least four times within the past ten minutes. I, right. Like I said, normally I'm not like this, but like it's. Everyone okay. roll d20, and we'll we'll set this up for the dungeon initiative. Thirteen. We should use Dungeon Initiative more. Yeah. So in that case, Richard just went, I presume? I have nothing more to say, so go on. Uh, okay, that means Archon. I'm basically following you guys, so. Okay. All right. And Tommy shall go for it and open one bait. Tommy waits for Lima to do a mimic check. Lima will do the mimic check with two torches. Both of them are safe. Okay. Tommy opens one chest to in, the north one. In the north chest, you will find a carved harp of exotic wood with ivory inlay and zircon gems. Ooh. Nice. I might want to use that. And then in the purple chest, you will find another bottle and a small stone. Wait, can I, is there anything written on the stone? There is nothing written on the stone. Fuck, how many points do I have left? I mean, you, you, you can ritual cast identify, which means it does not cost anything. I will cast identify on the stone. All right. Hold on, because I have to find out. Uh, because I, I, I have 
what it is noted down, but I don't know what it actually does. It is a Mind Stone of Agility. Your dexterity score increases by 2 up to a maximum of 20 with this deep red sphere orbits your head. Um, I look around the party. Who is the fastest? I mean, who needs it? Honestly, it, th that would benefit either me or Lima. I hand the stone to Lima because they're right behind me. Also, that fits your aesthetic. What I meant by it, it benefits either me or Lima is because uh, it'll increase our dexterity. Not our dexterity, our uh, AC. It doesn't benefit me much, I take it, so I think I'll just hand it off to the next person. Alright. I'm made of metal. I'm so gonna... David looks over at the tiny yeah, stone. I'm made of uh, the bottle with the others, and can I look at the instrument? Yep, it's just a normal instrument, but it sure as hell looks pretty. Can I strum it? You strum it, and it's actually pretty well in tune. Would I know how to play it slightly? It's a harp. If you know how to play a harp, you can play it. I'll give it a bit of a tune, like a small, like... All right. I'm just gonna play a few notes, just to check it. It plays well. I look to the rest of the party, in case they think there's anything weird with it. Yeah, my seal of approval. You can use it. Nothing weird? Nothing feel weird or off about this thing, you guys? Nope. I'll look to our Kron and leave it. Nothing? I strum it a few times. Mm, sounds good to me. I will Lehman. pocket the heart. Alright, I... Uh, let me just glance ahead. Alright, um... There's one last over, path... Uh, there's one last path to go. I would check there. Alright. Clarifying, is this a dead end? This path to go down... I believe so. He, yes, it is a dead end from us, I recall. You can see the little bit of brown. Yeah. Ah. Hey, Mike. So as you pass through, you will reach this room. Uh, let me just zoom out. You know, I normally question why there's a bunch of random secret dead ends and tunnels for random chests with randomly suspicious and valuable oh. items. This place Can is I a see bunch it? Of right now, this figure is just a motionless in the middle of the room. I don't think okay. I can identify the figure, can I? Not from this distance, you need to be in touch range. I'm uh, Tommy, to since you can see into the room, you notice that all of the scenes on the walls are scenes of death. Either death in battle, murder, sickness, old age, accidental death. A lot of death. Yep. And there is the same language scrawled on the wall behind the figure. Um... Do I still I have language you, languages on? You, you do not, but it's a ritual spell, so you can recast it for 10 minutes. You, you can recast it by adding 10 minutes to the casting time, and it's free. TM, quick question? Yes? Do I still have the correct opera hand languages on? That That's what I was just saying. You do not have it, but yeah. it's... But, well, you, you had recast it, so yes, you do. I'm gonna carefully read behind him. What you read is. What you read is. What will you do when you face death? What is the only way for you to win? This is. I take it this is another riddle. I'm going to read it, reiterate it back in common. I'm guessing since it's. When you face death, what will you do? Every other word. Sorry. 
Yeah, Gone. like like you 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 kind of barely understand it. Arcron. What will you do when you face death? How do you win? What is your only way to win? It's a thing. Who all is stepping into the room? Tommy will walk in. Arkron will walk in. I will go in behind Arkron. Lima? Now you just grab Arkron and Frederick. I will walk and laugh. I don't know if they'll accept Paladin answers. As you all enter the room, the door walks behind you, as well as all the other doors around the room. And the knight snaps up to look at you and begins to move. I would say that is where we'll pick up next time as you face the grief knight. Oh no. I hope hope the, the, the puzzle wasn't too bad for you guys. Oh, that was a fun puzzle. I like the fun. Let's go, Sir Gawain and the Grief Knight. Let's do this. This is going to be a fun one, because this is a puzzle I have been waiting for. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll start next time with this encounter. Woo! All I'm saying is, with that that riddle in mind, Arkron only has one thing he knows what to do. What will you do in the face of death? How will you win? I will punch it. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll okay. see. Okay. Also, also again, I, I, I do want to apologize for how brutal that fight was. <laughs> I mean, it definitely made up for the fact that uh, the guy holding the bracer was kind of a pushover. Well, yeah, it's because it, it was one eighth level dude against four eighth level, five eighth level people. And Arkron had him grappled, so he couldn't even jump away and stuff. I'm just happy I have a brace here. Wait. There was a strategy that would have implemented a bit more, but unfortunately, timing. Yeah. I was the one. And Andrew also requested that he come back as a uh, as a future antagonist, but unfortunately, his body got dropped into the pit. <laughs> His neck was snapped, and he got thrown into a pit. Yeah, he is gone. Yeah, th- this is really fun. I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying my first time doing the dungeon. Woo! I'm gonna have to readjust my AC thanks to the new glove. Also, I, 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 yeah. I also apologize for my low tolerance right now. No, don't, don't worry about it. You're going through pain. Yep. And also, the dice rolls were not kind to you. Either mine or yours. The dice gods were painful. Also, I gave the stone to Arkron, so... I he might need it more than me. So, the, the you said the stone increases dexterity by two? Yes. Oh, the, that actually, it, it was actually a good point to cut out the stream, so... Bye, chat. Thanks for showing up. Farewell, Twitch. Thank you, chat. Sorry also. for being late. I was counting magic cards and didn't realize it was too safe. Note That's to fair. self for you guys. Don't chicken wing when you punch. It hurts <laughs> for a while. <laughs>